Hi guys, so we are back with another haul video of stuff that I recently um, got listed. I thought I was prepared for this video and apparently I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I am on like two notebooks. I get so excited when I finish a notebook, guys. Um, I just keep a notebook of like, um, like when I'm doing my videos, I write down everything that I list and when I... <laughs> I have what I pay for it here, so when I do my my haul videos, I'm telling you guys what I pay, but then when it comes to my cha-chings, I can never remember, and I just don't look back at my notebooks. <laughs> um, so let's just get started with where I left off in the last video. Um, I came across this Boyd's Bear, little mini bear. This one is for breast cancer awareness, um, and it still has its tag attached. I paid $1 for this. I actually got this at a flea market and I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. This next item was just something that was in my own collection. This is a Lush tote bag. It says the next fresh thing. So it's just a little like reusable shopping tote bag. I think this might have came from one of the um lush subscription boxes i can't remember <laughs> if i actually bought this at the shop or if it came in a subscription box um i put this up on auction with a starting price of twelve dollars and 99 cents only because i didn't see any currently listed next thing i actually already sold um uh, this was for a vintage halloween blow mold light up blow mold eric and i won this at an auction and I don't have a price on this because it was a while back um, but anyway we sold it for a buy it now of $59.99 and that's actually a little on the higher end side than what some of the other ones were selling for but it was in really nice condition so I'm happy with what we got for it next item also came from an auction this is for a vintage Whitney Point wool blanket this is brand new still in its original bag we won two of these at the auction for seven dollars and fifty cents a piece like even the auctioneer said it was like the deal of the day like it was just insane we got them so cheap anyway i listed this on auction with a starting price of a hundred and seventy four dollars and ninety nine cents and it does have a bid Quite a few watchers and i have two of them so really 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 good um below here i also have another item from my lush collection this here is a knot wrap i sold the last one that i listed i have so many of these knot wraps and scarves and i really don't use them um so i'm kind of like trying to pare down my collection a little bit this one is a really large one that has these koi fish on um Anyway, like you can use this as a scarf. You can use it to like use it as gift wrap basically like wrap a gift in it and all that good stuff. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $12.99. Again, I didn't see that one currently listed. This puppet I got the same day I got that owl puppet. So this is a, um, I'm assuming this is a fox and it's made of real fur. Um, I'm assuming it's rabbit fur, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. There's no brand name on here. No tag is so well made. I mean, even its nose is like this really nice stitched like leather like material. So super cute. And the interesting thing about this and what makes it a puppet is that there's like an accordion type of um, thing in here. So like when you hold it you can like move it around kind of like making it like you know look like it's moving because of the um like spring i guess in it i don't know i thought it was really unique and interesting so i picked it up i paid two dollars for it and i put it up on auction with a starting price of 19 dollars and 99 cents so we'll see i got this vintage care bears little posable PVC figure. I got this at a yard sale. I paid 25 cents for her. This is Love A Lot Bear. And I put her up as a buy it now for $9.99. She's in really good condition. Usually like when you find these rubber 
PVC figures, a lot of the times they have like paint rubbed off of them and this one's in really nice shape. I got a perfume. This is brand new, still sealed. It's called Vera Wang Hippie Princess. I just sold a Vera Wang perfume for really good money. Um, and so like now when I come across Vera Wang perfumes, I comp them because some of them are getting harder to find because they're no longer made. Uh, this one here I paid $25 for and I have it listed as a buy it now for $89.99. This next item is so cute. This is for a funny sheep figure. This is by Primitives by Kathy. It still has a tag attached. So it's this funny little folk art type of sheep and he's got a watering can in his hand watering this metal flower. So it's really cute. So funny looking. Um, I pay, what did I pay for you? I paid $4 for this and I put it up as a buy it now for $22.99. I got these Longaburger jack-o-lantern placemats. Um, I, I paid, hold on, let me see here. I paid $8 for this entire stack and each each plastic baggie has two placemats in. So I put these up as two baggies available. So four placemats all together for a buy it now of $25.99, but I have two available. So someone can buy just the one stack or they can buy the other stack as well. So depending on you know how many place settings they have on their table. So like I said, these came from a yard sale. I got this vintage um, Taboo dusting powder. So this is brand new. It's still, like the powder in it is still sealed. I pay $1 for this at a yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Ooh, and I got a cha-ching. Um, <laughs> this next item, this is really weird. Um, this came from a tray that I won at an auction and it wasn't, you know, what I was bidding on the tray for. It was just in there and I thought it was so cool. This is from the 1980s, I believe. Um, it's for a pack, a box of bubble gum. I mean, this is brand new, still sealed and it still has gum inside. So super cool. It's called the Playball Bubble Gum. Still has the original price sticker of 33 cents on it so anyway i decided to list it um i listed it on auction with a starting price of twelve dollars and 99 cents so we'll see if we can sell an old box of bubble gum <laughs> they were selling too um so but there weren't any currently listed next item was for a vintage fusilla felted christmas tree skirt christmas needle craft this is called the jeweled christmas tree skirt or table center um, in the design called Candyland. So super cute. This has been opened, but everything is still inside. Um, I paid $3 for this at a yard sale, and I put it up as a buy it now for $64.99. I got two of these vintage Bistol tissue honeycomb centerpieces. So these are from 1977. This first one is a witch and cauldron. So these are open, they have been used, but they do still have their original packagings. I paid 10 cents a piece for these, and I put these up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. So I got that one for 10 cents, and then I also got this one, and this one is called the Scarecrow. And again, it's been opened and used, but it's still with the original packaging. So I put this on auction with a starting price of $12.99 as well. All right, this next item is absolutely gorgeous. And if you guys follow my videos, you'll probably remember me saying at one point, I had won a bunch of Mary Hoyer dolls at an auction, and I haven't listed any of them yet. Um, but I did list this one because she is Halloween themed and I wanted to get her up. This is an absolutely gorgeous Mary Hoyer doll. I mean, she's in brand new condition. She still has her netting 
around her hair. All of her clothes are tagged Mary Hoyer. Her cape, this beautiful dress. She's got these black lace-up boots on. Um, she is signed on the bottom of her foot. She also comes with this adorable little witch hat that is also signed Mary Hoyer. Absolutely beautiful doll. Um, I paid $58 for her at the auction and I currently have her listed on auction with a starting price of $125.99. That's what I'd like to get for her at least. Um, so if she sells for more than that, that would be awesome. But that is how much I would like to get for her because she is absolutely gorgeous and I didn't see any listed. I didn't see any sold. So I'm assuming she is a harder to come by Mary Hoyer doll with this um, witchy poo outfit. So absolutely gorgeous. And it's one of those things like, if it doesn't sell, I wouldn't mind keeping it kind of thing. Next item did actually already sell. In my last video, you saw I had a bunch of Willy Ray figures. This one was for a Willy Ray Ladybug. I paid $15 for this at an auction and it sold as a buy it now for $49.99. Of another Boyd's Bear Mini. This one is in a little um, bag and it has a longer burger basket on so you can actually like tie this around like one of your longer burger baskets so super cute I paid 50 cents for him at a yard sale and I put him up on auction with a starting price of $19.99 I have a couple of monster high dolls that I got listed um this one here I actually won at an auction um I won like a a couple of monster high dolls at an auction and they're like ones that are a little bit more harder to find so this one here was called amanita nightshade so really cute she's got her outfit on and her shoes i paid eleven dollars for her and i put her up as a buy it now for forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so some monster high dolls Definitely some can sell better than others. It just depends on the doll. I'm just gonna post up a picture of this was another Willie Ray figure. This hasn't sold yet. Um, this is available still. It was a cat and ghost. I paid $14 for that at an auction and listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. Um, this Monster High doll wasn't from an auction. This one was just in the tote that I had purchased at a yard sale. I got a big tote. Full of monster high dolls i paid 50 dollars and i already done made my money back and i have so many more dolls to list um this one is called golia yelps so really cute doll here um this one here i have listed as a buy it now for 24 dollars and 99 cents and then i also have this one she's really cute i really like this one so she's got these really pretty pink boots on. Her name is Viperine Gorgon. And I have her listed as a buy it now for $39.99. And she didn't come from an auction. She was from that tote of Monster High dolls I got. This is just a random thing. I had gotten a couple of like Bath and Body Works like pocket backs. And it was in a little baggie with those pocket backs. And this is a Bath and Body Works pocket back holder of a little roller skate. These were actually selling. Um, I have this listed as a buy it now for $6.99. They're actually selling pretty decently as far as resale. Um, this next item was for a baggie of these dolls. I paid 50 cents for this whole baggie. Um, these are called click dolls. These are older. Um, so basically it's like you got head their heads come off you can interchange like their clothes their shoes and so they just kind of like pop on and off type of thing um so i paid 50 cents for it i couldn't find these i definitely think they're a little more obscure like they didn't really make them for very long type of thing so 50 cents for those and I listed them as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this really cute um, ceramic like trinket tray dish. I thought this was so pretty. I like the shape of it and the coloring. It is marked Italy 
on the bottom i got this at a yard sale for one dollar and i listed it as a buy it now for twelve dollars and 99 cents this is absolutely beautiful i debated on keeping it for myself this is for a heavy glass perfume bottle um it is etched on the bottom oleg cassini and what you do is you have to unscrew it here and you'd put like your favorite perfume in there and then this is like a glass little dabber so you would just like dab your perfume on absolutely beautiful oh my gosh this would look so gorgeous on your dresser i love it like i said i debated on keeping it i paid a dollar for this at an estate sale and i listed it as a buy it now for 22 dollars 99 at one point at an auction i won a tray full of gingerbread related items at an auction so i listed these two together they definitely have that kind of primitive like grungy look to them so it's this large one here and then this smaller one and he's got like a thing you could kind of hang him up with or you could take it off if you would really want to no tags on them so i don't know where they were originally from but i lotted them together for a buy it now of $19.99. I got this old cardboard felt lined um, Santa boot. Looks like this. It is marked Japan on the bottom and there's just some like stuffing in it to kind of hold its shape a little better. This was um, from an auction. It was with a bunch of other stuff I got, like vintage Christmas stuff. Um, if you guys remember me saying I got some more of those little vintage pine cone figures, so this was with that, um, but I didn't want this Santa boot. I put this up as a buy it now for $22.99. I got this um, horse at a yard sale for 25 cents. This is actually um, a goes to a lone ranger figure i actually had this horse when i was younger uh, my mom used to buy a lot of my toys at yard sales so i had some like older toys as well growing up and yeah i had this horse that's why i recognized it as soon as i saw it um so 25 cents for this horse and he actually did already sell for 19 dollars 99 so he's got to be packed up um, I got this doll. I thought she was so cute. I've never heard of these before. These were called Fantasticals. That's what the little touch tag says. I think they were made in Australia. Um, but just a super cute little cloth fairy doll. I just thought she was so precious. So I picked her up at a yard sale. Um, I paid $1 for her and I put her up as a buy it now for $19.99. Did get a piece of kids clothes. I do like to pick up kids clothes here and there. This is a little dress by Laura Ashley. It's a size 6. I thought it was so stinking cute. So it's just like a pink floral dress and it has a tie in the back and like a little smocking there on the front. I paid $1 for this at a yard sale and I listed this for buy it now for $22.99 for a really nice antique plate tray. Um, they call this flow blue the pattern. It is by Stanley Pottery England marked here on the back. So this is a really nice old piece. Um, I paid $12.50 for this at an auction, and I listed this as a buy it now for $99.99. This next item actually already sold. This has to be shipped out too today. This is a Vera Wang Princess Revolution perfume. This is brand new, still sealed. I paid $20 for this perfume, and I sold it for a buy it now of $89.99. I got this little, this is a vintage strawberry shortcake. Um, his name's Frappe Frog, and it's just one of the um, strawberry shortcake dolls, little pets. Um, this came in a lot of some Littlest Pet Shop stuff I had purchased at a yard sale. It was just mixed in, um, and I put that up as a buy it now for $9.99. Uh, speaking of Littlest Pet Shop, I have two... Littlest pet shop um, little animals. 
This one here is cool. I really like the look of this. This one is um, from a line called Moonlight Fairies. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $7.99. And then I also have this cute little littlest pet shop. This is a Great Dane dog. And I have that listed as a buy it now for $9.99. One of these Lisa Frank um, cardboard stationery jewelry boxes. This one has Princess Cassandra on it is her name, I believe. No, Princess Cassara. I apologize, not Cassandra. Um, just really pretty glittery top. Uh, when you open it, there's a mirror. There's a puzzle here. It is missing two pieces, um, but it's a puzzle that has the princess on. And then there is a little slide out tray here. There is a slide out tray here that has a matching notebook inside. And then this slide out tray has some colored markers in. Got this at a yard sale for $1 and I put it up as a buy it now for $29.99. I'm actually already sold as well. This was for a Mack truck hat. Eric picked this up at a yard sale for 50 cents and it sold for $19.99. I got this Hello Kitty glass Christmas ornament. She is dressed up like a little Eskimo and she's got a baby seal in her hands. So I paid $1 for this at a yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. This is from 2005. I got this really nice men's long sleeve shirt. Um, I heard good things about this brand, but I, I don't know anything about it. It's by a company called Peter Millar. It's a men's size extra large. It's really soft. It's actually made with, um, hold on, let me read this tag again because I can't remember what it said. It's made of baby alpaca, 12% baby alpaca fur. Um, so it's super soft, very, very soft. I paid $2 for this at a church rummage sale and I listed it as a buy it now for $22.99. I got this at a yard sale. This is a vintage Old Spice. Um, it's in a decanter, like a flask decanter, but there is actually Old Spice aftershave in it. It is brand new, it was never used. I paid $1 for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. Item also already sold. This was for a vintage cardboard angel tree topper. I mean, you could use it as a tree topper or just like a sit around type thing. This came from an auction, just again, like um, a bunch of stuff I had like vintage Christmas stuff I had won. That sold for $12.99. I listed this, I've actually had this for quite a while. This is from Disney Parks and it says the holidays are swell. It is a ceramic tray. This would be good to put um, Santa's cookies on <laughs> at Christmas time. And this is what the back looks like. I think I paid like maybe $3 for this originally at a yard sale. And I listed this as a buy it now for $35.99. I got this really cute apron. This um, is handmade, but someone made it with that um, fabric of the, um, here it goes this way. <laughs> they made it with that fabric of that B climbing um, cat with the red sneakers. So super cute. I absolutely love this. So it has been, it has been used. Like someone made it and it has been used. Like there are some, you know, threads that are um, coming, coming loose, but so super cute. I had to pick this up. I paid $5 for this and I put it up as a buy it now for $25.99. I also got this vintage coach. Um, you can use this as a messenger bag or a diaper bag. And the great thing about it is, is that it's, you know, it's one, it's classic and two, it's very unisex as well. So it just has the signature C print all over. When you open it, there's these two pockets here and then your really large um, pocket there. And there is also a pocket on the back as well. So I paid $20 for this at a yard sale and I listed it as a buy it now for 
$3.99. cents. These here um, aren't being listed. I got two packs of these Staples uh, bubble mailers. I guess these are for CDs and DVDs, but you can use them for anything. I got these out of fill a bag rummage sale, so I just picked those up to use myself. Um, I got this at a church rummage sale. This is just stuff that I'm keeping for myself. Um, this is by Grove. I paid 25 cents for it. I'm not entirely like familiar with like the Grove product, so if anyone recognizes this, let me know what exactly it's used for. The um, bristles here are made of like a rubbery material, and then there's like a real soft um, fabric on the bottom. So I'm not entirely sure what it's used for yet. I gotta look it up. So if anyone recognizes that, let me know. I thought maybe it was for dishes at first, but like the soft bottom, I kind of blew my mind a little bit. Um, this next item was a pair of Harley Davidson sunglasses. Um, Eric got these for $5 at a yard sale and he just bought these for himself. They look like this. So that was a good deal for a pair of Harley sunglasses. Um, I picked this up for myself. I may sell it after I read it, but it just looked really interesting. I paid a dollar for it. It's a book called Hex, A Spellbinding Account of Witchcraft and Murder. So I thought that sounded interesting. And it's definitely like a vintage book. Um, do you have a date in here? Do you have a date? 1969 is the date on that. And then lastly, <laughs> I got this Bark Box toy for Amelia. So funny story. Um, Eric purchased this for Amelia at Walmart in the clearance. There, it was clearance, I think, for, I want to say $5. Could have been $3. I can't remember. I just know he got it in the clearance section. And it's like this little crate. So this, this whole thing is a toy, and then this strawberry is its own little toy as well. So he got it for her. This strawberry quickly became one of her new favorite toys. Um, the whole green part she has absolutely chewed up. She is very destructive <laughs> with her toys. Um, thankfully, it's with her toys and not like, you know, stuff around the house, like our shoes and anything like that. Uh, but very destructive with her toys. I'm constantly having to buy her new ones. And I definitely feel like these Bark brand um, dog toys are definitely standing up a little better to her chewing so even though it's like all chewed um you know she hasn't gotten inside and like pulled out the stuffing or anything yet we literally just got her some spider toys at marshall's the other day and she already ripped the stuffing out of the toy so anyway the strawberry one of her favorites you see her carrying it around. She'll have this little green bit just dangling in her mouth, just dangling the strawberry out of her mouth. Cutest thing ever. But, you know, it's getting to be really destroyed. So I went on eBay and I purchased her a new one. So I'm gonna save this one probably maybe for Christmas or so, um, just so she can have her strawberry back. So I definitely paid more for it on eBay than what we did originally, but you'll do anything for your animals, your babies. So um, I got her that. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.